And welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So um, a lot of people have been asking about tips for posing girls, tips for posing grooms, tips for posing couples. And every time I, I learn something or every time I'm you know, on set and something pops out to me, I want to share it with you guys. So um, a few things that help me pose the women, uh, I, I just want to share like three things with you. So one of the most important things is to remember that whatever is closest to the camera is gonna look bigger, right? So as far as women's bodies are concerned, when a woman's just kind of standing there and she's kind of relaxed, like if I'm relaxed right now, I've just pushed my stomach and my waist towards the camera. And with, yeah, I'm probably not wanting to make this part of my body look bigger. So you have to really watch your bride or watch your female subject and you have to be their mirror so you want to tell them and show them hey take this part of your body back so that right there is going to already make her look slimmer right so that's one tip the second tip is a lot of times when we get in front of the camera we're kind of just standing there kind of nervous and our, our weight is distributed both to both legs one of the easiest ways to make someone look comfortable is to tell them like I want you to feel like you've been waiting on a subway for hours just like chill I want you to chill I want you to put like all your weight on one leg and if they still don't get it tell them like all the weight so that you can even lift one leg so that means that they just did that so look at the difference between this when I'm just standing there to when I go like this like all of a sudden I look so much more comfortable you know and then I'm at a different angle so I want to do different things so that's tip number two um, tip number three is pretty specific and you have to be on your A game when doing this a lot of times when people get nervous, especially women, um, we'll kind of put our hand over our stomach. We'll kind of do something like this in the picture, you know? When I'm editing those pictures, I'm like, oh, I love her expression there, so pretty, but it looks like she has a stomach ache, you know? Because when we hold our stomachs like this, it could come across as, oh, her tummy hurts, or uh, not having such a good day. So you just want to keep her away from that. Like, give her something else to do with her hands. Like, put it in your pocket, touch your shoulder, play with your hair, do something else with your hands, you know? I mean, hold your groom's hand, look at your ring, play with your fingers down here. Something like that's gonna be a lot better than this because it will read as tummy ache. Um, and the fourth one, this one's also super important for me, and I know that it's gonna help you guys as well, is especially with women, when they're wearing shorts or a skirt or something that shows their legs, I always am very particular because I know that they want their legs to look as good as possible. So I'm always having them sort of like turn one knee in, okay? So this is gonna also create different shapes in the legs, which are gonna you know, make your legs look kind of better and longer and hopefully you know, more shapely. And in my case, I hope it looks thinner. So yeah, so if they're standing here and if they put their weight on this leg or if they put their weight on that leg, I'm like, oh, you know what? Turn your knee in. Let's turn it in like that. So now we're like creating shapes here we're playful we can even close it there so now it's like ooh, it looks a little better and also I think it I mean I personally feel kind of cooler when I do that so anyway I hope that helps you guys and like I said um, I'm gonna be watching what I'm doing with the grooms and kind of taking notes so I can share that with y'all because I know it's a big subject out there so I hope this helps and um, I know that it helps me and like I said I'm gonna be really taking notes on you know things that I can share with you guys about posing because I know it's a big subject out there. Um, also check out my blog janafromalabama.com where I'm going to recap and give uh, more tips over there. Uh, follow me on Instagram, check me out on Facebook, and stay inspired. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye!